Hello and welcome to this Python tutorial. Today I will be showing you how you can create your very own scroll bar. What I will be doing is creating a scroll bar in both the y direction and in the x direction. And by the end of it, you should have something that looks a bit like this, where we have 1 to 30 going across the top and we can see the 1 to 30 if we use our x scroll bar. And we'll have 1 to 40 going down, which we can see all the numbers if we use our y scroll bar. Let's get started. So the first thing we need to do is import tkinter as tkr. So wherever we're referencing tkr in this code, we are calling our tkinter module. And the next thing we need to do is create our main window. And we do that by typing in tkr.tk, big T, small k. And I've equated that to window. So our main window is simply called window. The next thing I've done is specify the geometry of this window by typing in window.geometry and then giving a geometry in quotation marks. The, fun, the next thing I like to do is type in window.mainloop right at the bottom at the end of our code which lets the, everything know that it's ready to it's completed and that it can run. And so that's our main window created and we should have something that looks like this, a main window ready to be populated. The next thing we need to do is create our vertical scroll bar. So if we type in sbar equals and then tkr dot scroll bar and then in brackets type in window, this will create a scroll bar and link it to our main window. And that's all the parameters that are needed for the vertical scroll bar as the function scroll bar is all set, has its default set in the vertical direction. So once we've created our scroll bar, we then need to pack it into our main window in a certain area by typing in sbar.pack and then in brackets side equals tkr.write and fill equals y. And what this will do if we run it is this will pack our vertical scroll bar to the right side of the screen and fill it from top to bottom on the right side of the screen. The next thing we need to do is create a text box and link our scroll bar to our text box. So if we type in tkr.text this will create a text box and then if in brackets if we type in window this will link the text box to the main window and if we specify a height being 500 and a width being 350 and then if we type in y, y scroll command equals sbar dot set this will link our vertical scroll bar to our text box. The next thing we need to do is pack our text box into the main window by typing in textbox.pack and then expand equals zero and fill equals tkr.both which essentially means that it will fill the rest of the space which the scroll bar is not taking up. So if I run it, we have our text box and our scroll bar on the right. The next thing we need to do is firstly configure our text box and then finally put some text into our text box. So if we type in sbar.config and then command equals textbox.yview that will link the scroll bar to the text box. And then finally what we need to do is here I've created a vertical list. If you create our vertical list and then we type in you know one backslash n which means new line, 2 backslash n, 3 go on so on and so forth all the way along to 40. That will create 40 rows and then what we need to do is link this 40 rows or these text here, this list here into our text box by typing in textbox.insert simply type in the name of the text box dot insert and then type in brackets tkr.end and then text items underscore vertical calling our list that we've created above. So if we run it now, you'll have our 40 rows here, which we can see if we use our Y scroll bar. The next thing we need to do is create our horizontal scroll bar now. So if we type in sbar2 equals and then tkr.scrollbar, and also link this into the window. 
And this time we need to specify the orientation because its default is set to vertical. So if we type in orient equals tkr dot horizontal, this will position the scroll bar horizontally. And then if we pack it by typing in sbar2 dot pack, and then side equals tkr dot bottom, and then fill equals x, they'll pack it to the bottom of the screen. So if I run this now, notice that we have our vertical scroll bar still working as normal, and we also have our x scroll bar as well. So the next thing we need to do is let's link some text into our existing text box. So if I create this text items underscore horizontal, and instead of having one to 40 with a backslash N in between, I've just got one space, two space, three space, four space, all the way along to 30 this time. And then if I, I can insert that into the text box, we're typing in text box dot insert, and then in brackets type in TKR dot end, and then linking this list here to the text box, similar to the dot append. So if I run it now, notice here that we have our 1 to 30 here and our 1 to 40 going down. But notice that here that the 1 to 30 has been wrapped inside the screen and we can just simply do that if we want to, but that's a bit of an effort and that's not very nice, it doesn't look very good. So what we need to do now also is get rid of that wrapping and then also we need to put the x scroll command into our text box. So if we type in x scroll command equals and then the name of the second horizontal scroll bar 2.set and then if we type in wrap equals none that'll set the x scroll command to the text box and also get rid of any default wrappings that are there. So if we run it now, notice here we have our 1 to 30 going along the top. Our X scroll is not configured yet, so it won't work, but our vertical is still working and the wrap is now gone. So the final thing we need to do is configure our second scroll bar. So if we type in sbar2, the name of the second scroll bar, and then dot config, then type in command equals textbox.xview and then run it. We'll now have our scroll bar configured in the x direction and it's, it is also now configured in the y direction. So that is how you create a scroll bar in both the x and the y direction. I hope you've enjoyed the tutorial. Don't forget to subscribe if you liked it and please feel free to share my channel, share any links, share any videos or embed them in any of your websites or your projects. Thank you very much for watching.